Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas day four. I feel like I've gotten to my rhythm and that I'm remembering to pick up my camera a little bit more and like things are just getting exciting. <laughs> um, I have just come from the gym. It's my second time this week. I actually have not been, you know, honestly with my workouts the last few months, they've just been so on and off, so sporadic and it's not been me. For a while there, I was so consistent with my four times minimum a week workouts. Um, and then the last two weeks I didn't work out. One week I wasn't feeling well, the other week I traveled and I was starting to feel like, well, do I really need, I mean, it's raining. Do I need to leave the house? It's too hot. Should I leave the house? Like there were all these excuses. But yesterday was my first day back in a couple of weeks. Today, second day, I went with my hair as is. Um, you know, I took out the braids yesterday and I just have not done anything to the hair. I actually don't know if I have time to wash it because I have such a busy a busy day and I just, I want to like, when can I wash this hair? I don't know, we'll figure it out. Anyway, uh, my like delivery PR team are coming to pick this package up and take it to the winner. Um, yeah, I announced her on my Instagram yesterday and I'm just so excited. So I just need to sign her card now that I know her name, confirm that she's got all the um because a number of things were in voucher form so confirm that all the vouchers are in here um, and all the products and everything and then hand it over to deliveries um i also am meeting a couple of my friends i'm meeting janet and david today i don't know if i've mentioned this before but we meet sporadically throughout the year like not not that regularly but enough to just be like we're just sharing everything that's happened in the last couple of months but once a year in december we meet for what we call staff party our annual staff party i don't know what company we're part of i don't know we just, it just it's stuck and it works and that's what this is about an annual staff party uh, but before that i have to try and edit my video try and edit a reel upload a picture figure out emails um, and try and schedule out my day tomorrow because I think that I'm going to spend the afternoon there. So I need to schedule what my day looks like um, for tomorrow and like what props I need. So for instance, I might need to go to textbook center to get like um, confetti. Do they have confetti at text? I don't, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But first, breakfast but I'm just in such a good mood and I'm feeling so bubbly and I just I hope I hope you're having a good December so far here's the Christmas tree in daylight I still switch it on in the morning because look the Christmas tree has to be on all, all month long all month long what can I say <laughs> a little lady excuse me with my little pearls look at ah uh, I just I just love the idea of building out um, or slowly building out like just special pieces that um, hopefully I can pass on one day and will hopefully be meaningful because I just I love it it's the it's it's so simple and and yeah, just you know me, you know me. I love like the simpler it is, the better. Um, I don't know if this would be comfortable to sleep on. It might be a bit much, so I might have to take it off, but it's the kind of thing that you could wear every day and it's not heavy or pulling, but it's just such a simple classic statement. Um, and this is the bracelet that was too big. Um, and I've had this for, I don't know, like a year, 10 years, I think. Uh, and these were just sitting in a little bag because they were just the extra pearls from the bracelet until I took it to a keek and it's just perfect. Anyway, the reason I um, started filming and not started editing the video before I, what time can I leave here? Maybe if I left by 12, it would be fine. Um, so I still have time, but I received a, a package um, 
and maybe I should link her down below, but the lady who handles like whatever deliveries I have or PR or things like that, it's just, it's so convenient. It's so convenient. It's so, and she's really good. She's really efficient. I think I'm just, I'm going to ask her if I can leave her contacts down below because she's just completely taken away some of the stresses of having to call like the delivery guy and you're they're not coming and you're trying to follow up on the app to see if they've arrived and then they're lost and then all of that it's almost like i just pass that on to someone who already has the systems in place um it's like she does logistics but for like people not for oh i wonder if she does for businesses but she probably does i don't know all i know is as sharon it's just been like so lovely so she was dropping off some packages that had arrived and then picked up the gift hamper which hopefully will be with the winner in another hour and a half uh so let me show you what came in so the first is from woven so they dm'd me on instagram asking if they can send a pr product and i was like oh yes please um i also ended up buying something from them now i can't remember what it was or what's in here there was something that was going to take a while to make because everything is handmade i'm not entirely sure so i probably need to go through and just re try and ask what i owe her um <gasps> what letters to santa bring home the magic of christmas includes one wish list letter to Santa, one Santa nice list certificate, one milk and cookies tray mat, one DIY Christmas card, one DIY ornament activity, three Christmas color pages, and two Santa gift tags. This is so nice. I wonder, is this a gift for my little one? I wonder if it, obviously, I like how I'm asking as if I'm the one who's going to be writing the letters to Santa. Um, I think this was a gift for her. And, and uh, I don't know if I knew she was going to send this. I, now I can't remember. I just feel like so much has been happening. I don't I, like my mind is everywhere. Oh, I have to do this with her. I'm going to put everything away, but I just want to show you because I think this is such a lovely idea. We were actually going to try and figure out when to write the letter to Santa to let Santa know what gifts to bring this Christmas. And let me tell you something. These gifts have been mentioned for a while now. So Santa has already purchased the gifts. And this, if this kid decides, actually, I've changed my mind. <laughs> Too late it's late it is it is late anyway there's like the crafts stuff there's more craft stuff in here there are the north pole delivery service this is adorable i'm gonna buy this every year i'm going to ask her if this is something they do every year and i mean i'm sure and i'm gonna include this as part of our christmas rituals um up until i guess the age where letters to santa don't apply anymore and it's just like mom this is what i want for christmas <laughs> um anyway so that was it oh there's a letter so lovely the card uh it says dear sharon thank you for providing all the positive vibes and joy through your content hope this package gives you some joy back merry christmas and happy happy holidays from team woven try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud maya angelo i love it i love it and thank you Oh yes! Oh, I'm so... <laughs> Look at this. Wait, this isn't what I thought it was. I thought these. She probably has added other things in here. Did I order? I don't think I ordered this. But the little woven earrings. This actually feels like it could go. Okay, you see now I'm gonna have to just like rock this at some point during the festive season or even outside of it but that is so cute thank you so much for adding this that is so lovely um i don't think that was part of what we said so i think she's added that oh ornaments yes this may have been what i asked to purchase i, I don't know i'm gonna actually dm her now um but how lovely is that and you can choose the colors so i went for the mustard and white and this like mauvey red shade i thought together it's just like a lovely color palette and actually 
it kind of speaks to the color palette I have there already. I'll show you that Christmas tree um, that I'm not in charge of putting bobbles on and, and like styling it. It's all, it's all, and that's why I guess there's a lot happening on that tree. But it's cute. It's cute. And I think if um, if I show my little lady this, they will probably go up on that tree. But I think I'll keep some for this one as well. Um, let's see what this is. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. It smells. It smells like something you could be eating, like a dried fruit that you just want to munch on. I mean, it is actual cinnamon sticks and I believe this is dried orange. Oh wow, that smells lovely. And then baby's breath. So they're all things that will last ages. I bet this actually would go with my color, my color scheme. I mean, I do have more like, um, like sparkly bubbles on there. But the colors, and especially because of that, like burnt, it's not really burnt orange, it's whatever that shade of like velvety, orangey brown shade is, speaks to this color as well. That is so lovely. I've actually just added those actually. Um, and then let's see, I think this is, yeah, this is the last one. And you need to see what they have too. They have these like really cute baskets. Um, they had curtain holder. I think I may have ordered the curtain holders. Oh, yes. This is what I, oh, I'll throw out. This is what I distinctly remember. Um, we've got, oh, and she's added a couple other things like snowflakes. How pretty is that? How pretty? Even just like, so they have like bigger versions of this that you can hang on a wall in your home, in your kid's room if you want, and you can pick the colors. But how pretty is that? I love it. I actually think these are my favorites. This uh, rainbow, these are my favorites, 100%. These are my favorites. And then there's little woven snowflakes as well. This is just so lovely. I'm gonna go into her DM in just a second um, and confirm if this is what I ordered or if this is what she was gifting me, I don't know. I think I may have ordered the curtain, like they, they have the like curtain holders, like ties. She had these curtain ties I think that's what I placed an order for. Um, and then, what is this from? Oh, Nairobi, Nairobi Nights. I'll obviously link everything um, in the description box for you, but look what, was, look what was sent. Oh, is this a letter? It probably is. Oh yeah. Dear Sharon. Oh, this is quite long. I don't know if I'll read everything. Oh, my, my name is Sahiba. I'm 22 years old and I founded this company with my partner two years back. I can't believe you founded something when you were 20. What was I doing at 20? I was still in uni, I think. Wow, this is so cool. So the um, these guys, Nairobi Knights, that's the name. Thank you, Sahiba. I won't read out your entire... Uh, your entire message, but I will read this part out. They... Um, this is a 25 foot LED string light. Uh, it consumes minimal power and it retails, retails for 7,500, but they have others for 5,500 and they have other quality fairy lights that are 10 meters for 1,500. So if you're one of those people who's like, I can't be bothered putting up a Christmas tree, that's like too much work, not really interested, but you want fairy lights. Um, oh wow, this looks lovely. This looks like I need someone now I need compound. I need a compound in a gazebo or a balcony because I need to hang these lights up and I need to put, oh, it is, it is really elaborate. They're like the proper, like little bulbs. Like they would be perfect for if you've got, these I guess are spare ones, um, but everything else is well packaged and well cushioned in here so they're all sitting in there from what i can see that's so lovely thank you so much Sahiba. and also how are you funding a company at 20 at 20 20 that's just that's impressive that is impressive okay 
And then the last item is something that I bought. So the other items were PR packages, but this, let me show you really quickly because I went and bought one for myself a couple weeks ago, went back a couple days later, bought one for a friend um, because she saw me using it. Um, oh, here's my receipt. Perfect. Um, and I decided I am stocking up on lots more, but not because I need more. Although this color is so much better than the one I have. <laughs> So much better not because i need more but because i want to gift them so this the this is a phone holder i actually have one right there at the corner but i'll take this one out so that you can see what it actually looks like i heard about this brand from patricia and ended up taking one of hers because she admitted she has like a million of them in her house so i said you know what sharing is caring please may i have this one and it has come in so handy when i'm trying to film something on my phone i can't tell you how many times i've used that um uh product it's this this phone holder so convenient you just kind of you can shape it to anything you want kind of you know, if I can do it without dropping it. You can shape it, you know, to kind of suit whatever angle. Oh, panicked that there was something inappropriate. Um, and then place your phone there and you can just film yourself. You can be listening to something. Sometimes I find when I place my phone directly on the table, like if I've got it here and I'm speaking, for instance, if I'm doing a live or speaking to someone, it's like the sound, something happens and it muffles it. But whenever I've put it here, it's, the sound is, is perfect. It's, it's so convenient. And guess how much it is? 300 shillings. If you buy it straight from Javali. Is it 300? They have bigger ones too uh, that are about 600. But I think these are 300. I actually saw these at Art Cafe. That's how I, Art Cafe Market. That's how I started this. And I bought. And then went back because I wanted to add it to... Um, I'm, getting, I'm getting Janet and David like just a small gift bag. Um, and I went back and to, to buy and they were not there anymore. <laughs> I was like, why? So I DM'd them and uh, messaged and I decided, you know what, instead of just buying two, because I also want to get one for another friend of mine. And then I figured I'm just going to hold on to three more um, because they will come in as gifts, uh, like handy gifts at some point. Um, and it's three, it's 300 shillings, it's so convenient. So I got a mustard shade, this uh, taupey gray shade, and black. Can you just, I clearly have a color palette. Um, <laughs> clearly, like there's there's things here that you, you, can, you can see, you can see. Um, so I'm gonna figure out what to, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna give mustard to Janet and black to David. Um, Hopefully they find them useful. I don't know, but they, they do like online stuff. They like work on their phones quite regularly. So I'm sure they'll find it helpful. I added another random thing in their bags that might seem like what, but I just think these are practical gifts and they're inexpensive gifts and they're just like, and it makes me happy that, um, that I am, cause every, I wanted to like, I just I like Christmas time so much and I like the season so much and every year I have this like massive list of I don't know like 80 people I want to gift things and then every year I'm like <laughs> you are not you're not uh, who's a rich guy Elon Musk you are not um, Gates okay so check your budget check yourself just send Merry Christmas <laughs> to a friend but this year i feel like i've started planning a little bit earlier and i've been like every year i just i'm able to expand that list a little bit more and it just makes me so happy that i can be like merry christmas okay now let me edit this let me put this by the door so i do not forget so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna say actually those that would be really can i show you the other thing in that basket in, in the in the gift bag rather it's not pretty thing per se but it is a very convenient thing i've talked about these lights a million times um they come in handy even last night we don't often have power blackouts but last night for maybe two hours no power this and i think i think this was maybe 500 shillings on jamia it's an led bulb it um last time we had a 
like countrywide blackout. I think it lasted pretty much the whole the whole night. Did it? Um, I'm not sure. If, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. But it's just so convenient because I was using it as a nightlight, um, and I kind of just tried to hide. You know, use it as a nightlight for my little lady. That's why I think it lasted the whole night. But I would. I, I can't remember if in the morning it was on or not. I'm not sure, but it's just so convenient. Let me show you the one, because it's even in my room, because I was using it last night. Let me show you. Okay, I'm gonna link these down below, just in case you're interested to buy for yourself, to buy for family. This is the bigger version. I, I've got, I got the, the small one for them. Um, and that's what it does, like, that is really bright. And then there's one, it kind of get, gets dimmer. So that's easy on the eye. The third setting is like this weird flashing set setting that I don't understand and it's not it's not ideal like no one uses it and I feel like it might make people who are sensitive to that uncomfortable so I'm actually just gonna do that there and switch it off um, but they came they come in handy and they have these little hooks so you can place it somewhere it's so convenient and as someone who detests like just blackout stuff like I, I'm really going to try and prep my world so I can best mitigate that next year so like have led candles and have a power bank that can charge not just my phone but my laptop and my ipad so that just because there's no power doesn't mean like everything is gone there's like it can still create an ambience that feels oh we've intentionally switched off the lights even though that's not the case anyway um i i would yeah i would rec it's see what i mean they're just like little things but everyone could use one you know what i mean and um this is something i actually gifted my family as well and i've got a few more that i'm going to just throw into people's uh gift baskets this year yeah in case i didn't mention it comes with the cable to charge it so that for the next time it's good to go in fact i'm going to charge this right now because we used them last night it's like i lied <laughs> i'm still here forgot that there's another package that came in last night this is from uh Kulola. i will link them down below they, they have a couple of pages one for like home uh homeware and another one for fashion and it's this lovely like little baby doll dress um with these tie details oh i actually think i might i could almost go a size smaller i will uh try this on just to show you what it looks like just not now but i'll insert a clip so that you see how it looks on me but it's one of those silhouettes that kind of just falls beautifully and could suit pretty much everyone you know what i mean like i love that kind of dress okay now time to edit from lunch the fish i would have to say the fish and the chocolate cake oh right? yeah, right? yeah. Okay. The, the fish company was the fish. pretty okay though this was uh, the best love these guys i know i love everyone too <laughs> and your stuff party and your stuff party <laughs> <stuff. laughs> janet may or may not be about to lick the wall to see if it's gingerbread she's oh my god you oh my god You've Except actually destroyed also property. So I I also, you can't put that back. Yeah. If anyone wonders, if anyone ever asks what happened to that like one, I know because you took that one out. But look at that. They've got a gingerbread house. Oh, it's so cute with the little window. So I guess everything here is edible. Does it? Oh, yeah, it smells. I'm not kidding. When you come here, you have to smell the wall. It smells so good. <laughs> this must seem, it must seem so strange. I filmed her licking a wall. I didn't lick it, I smelt it. I didn't lick it. I smelt it. I smelt it. <laughs> you guys? <laughs>
today was so nice. It was so lovely. Just to, like, it was just so wholesome. You know those days that you just think, <sighs> because you know how life is. Life is like that. <laughs> that is life in motion. Ups, downs, sideways, center, middle, crashed. Everything is gone, okay? One minute you're on top of the world, the next it's trash. What is life? Who needs it? I'm out of here. Thanks. Don't need it. <laughs> it's, yeah, like there's just, it's, yeah, I think that's what I, that has, that's what's become so clear this year. Um, and I think at some level I thought maybe if I reach a certain level of like actualization or awareness and or something like that, then I won't experience that like the more difficult moments. But yeah, Eckhart Tolle has, has a perfect quote, but do you think I remember what that quote is? I do not. And I literally listened to it as I was doing my meditation yesterday. I'm, I'm going to replay it and then I'll write it down so I can say it maybe in the next vlog. Um, but it's a quote about life that it's not just about like, like high, I can't remember. My point is today is what was, what was one of those days that I just felt really grateful and I'm just holding on to that. Like that was lovely. That was so lovely. That was so lovely. I was just saying to Janet too, like I just feel, like I feel we're really lucky. We're really lucky. We're really blessed. We had a wonderful experience at Sankara. That food. The truffle fries, the fish. And can I tell you a quick story? I interviewed the chef a couple years ago. He was at another property, another, um, uh, I think Radisson Blue, I believe. That's where he was. Um, I interviewed him a couple years ago. The thing that stuck, stuck with me was that that was the best fish I had ever had. The best fish I'd ever had, period. I'm not a seafood person. I don't like fish so much. I often find that it's just flat. Like I don't get like some, I, I'm just always like, oh, I don't really get it. <laughs> it's like, there's no strong taste. And what he did with that fish, it was this oriental flavor and flair that was so good. And yet so simple, like, and then with the rice, even David was like, what did he do to the rice? He was like, what did he do to the rice? I don't know what he did to the rice. I just know everything together was so good. It was so lovely. Oh, I um, I actually left trying to see. We took a tour, took a tour of the uh, first floor because I actually haven't been to Sankara in such a long time. Um, and I left with a card because I'm going to try and book uh, dinner at some point because that was just incredible. It was so good. Um, but yeah, and it was just also really good conversations. It's so interesting. I think we're all on the same wavelength and like we're finding things happening um, that, you know, feel aligned and we're kind of having the same lessons, but everyone in their own little, you know, uh, some a little bit further ahead than others. And, they, you know, and so we were kind of just sharing that. But I just I just feel so grateful and going back to like the conversation on friendship, which we also touched on um, uh, a little bit. Well, actually a lot. Um, I'm really grateful for this group of friends because it is the most odd set of people. I, I don't know if you'd place the three of us together in any setup, but the love I have for them and I, the love that I know we have for each other is so like Thank you, God, <laughs> that um, I had a good day. It's just that simple. And I hope you had a good day too. And if you didn't, I hope you take comfort in knowing that that's life. Like life has those moments where everything feels aligned and or just everything feels settled. Forget even feeling like oh, I'm in alignment. It's just things are like, it's just good. You're just, you're in a good place and it's just, you know, and then there are moments where down and the moments where it's extra it's extra good yesterday was just like a regular day the day before was sunday 
was an okay day. I had the shoot. I, I mean, I'm not going through my days trying to see like, was there a stressful? But even in even even in like um, having a good day, there were some stressful moments in my day. I think that's what I'm saying. Like, there's just like what you choose to focus on, and I'm just really grateful that I had a um, nice little session with friends that I don't see that often. We don't talk that often either, but when we do, it's just so good for my soul. Anyway, enough to chat. I have this oily little face to clean up. Um, in the video where I asked you guys what you think about my shade, a number of people said that it does look a little off. It's not quite perfect. And so, because this foundation was actually sent to me, the fact that I didn't go in, in store to shade match, like it's a pretty decent match considering I didn't go in and buy it. Um, I don't know how many shade options we have of Fenty, but I do know that I really love the Fenty foundation. I really love the Fenty foundation. I, when I was in Diani, went into the water because there was a shoot I needed to have. Um, I wanted to be coming out of the water with my popping red lip. And I was doing that and I was like, Sabrina, how is my mascara? How is my foundation? And it held on. Even as I was like coming out of the water, held on. Mascara is the essence that um, Patricia put me on. I actually ordered a couple more because it's such a good mascara and it's only $4 or $5, I don't know. Anyway, time to wash my face and um, get cozy. And we're done, just like that. Um, no, I wish it was just like that. So much has happened um, since I switched it off and did my little change and washed my makeup off. I've got all nourishing stuff on my face. Before I bid you farewell, can I also just say the Christmas box from um, Woven, I'm going, again, I'm gonna link them down below, such a hit. I said it's from Santa, because she said, oh, who, who is this from? And I was like, this is, I didn't even think about it before, but Santa? And she was like, what? Like, oh, I'm just saying this for parents. I think this is good. It's got an, a certificate and we actually went through everything. In fact, I have to rush because there's crafts <laughs> we need to do. But um, it's got like a, a, a certificate, like a nice kid certificate or something. It's got a mat that has like two circles and you put like your rain, um, the milk for the reindeer and cookies for Santa or whatever. Uh, it's got coloring, a couple of coloring pages and forgotten what else oh like a letter like it's just and then crafts which is a good activity but i just think if you've got kids and you just want to prolong the christmas scene-ness of this season would highly recommend but um i just want to say good night and uh you know what i can show you too just you know i like sharing these things just in case people out there were like i'm looking for this where do i find it i found some other christmas bags that i think i even prefer better than the ones that I um, had earlier, the ones that I had the gifts for Janet and David. Um, these are also from Textbook Center. They have like a whole station of gift wrapping. Sorry. They had a whole station of uh, gift wrapping stuff. This was 300 and this is 200. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really just, tis the season everybody. Ah! Okay, I will see you for Vlogmas day Five, three, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. I'll see you for a blog Day. Bye. Bye, everyone.